we found is that it's possible to dry down a live viral vaccine and to deliver it to the skin without the requirement for using hypodermic needles. We've also shown that using this mode of vaccine delivery, we can uh, it's powerful enough to stimulate the uh, immunizing properties of some specialized immune cells in the skin, which we call dendritic cells. For the last 20 years, there's been a concerted effort to develop vaccines against HIV, malaria and tuberculosis, which represent a global challenge in public health. And several uh, new vaccines against those infections are actually looking promising and are progressing through into the clinic. However, for those new types of vaccines, and also for some of the vaccines that we currently receive uh, during childhood vaccination, they need to be kept continuously cold. And that is very difficult. And so we were thinking about how can we overcome this problem? And so we came up with a technique to be able to stabilize a, a, a live viral vaccine at room temperature, and then a simple way of delivering through the skin, which didn't require a, a hypodermic needle. It's important to keep vaccines cold so they don't lose their effectiveness. And that is clearly uh, critical in um, uh, the developing world where resources may be limited, that there isn't the infrastructure often to keep maintain vaccines refrigerated, and this is also very costly. The first, the first step, it was critical to see whether we could actually stabilize a live vaccine based on a recombinant virus. The next step was to see whether we could incorporate the stabilized vaccine formulation into a silicone template. And the template has rows, or we call it arrays, of little cone-like needle shapes and dry this, uh, the vaccine in these little cones, flip out essentially the, these little discs which have little sugar spikes and then administer these what we call microneedle arrays to the skin of mice and address whether we can stimulate a, a potent immune response. The sugar needles are very sharp and that's sufficient to be, for the vaccine to be able to penetrate uh, the skin. They dissolve very quickly these needles and then release the vaccine that's in the spike. This mode of vaccine delivery is applicable to other infectious diseases, not only those of the new vaccines that are being trialled currently, but also for the vaccines that we all received in, received in childhood against infectious disease. And then looking beyond infectious disease, there are applications in terms of the management of inflammatory and autoimmune conditions such as diabetes, where individuals may need to have repeated delivery of a therapeutic type vaccine to, uh, to control their condition. And so if they can self-administer uh, a, a vaccine, which is delivered by a simple method of just basically applying a, a, a dissolvable microneedle array to the skin, that would have enormous benefit. So the next steps are clearly to look at and test the applicability uh, of this um, mode of vaccination against other infectious diseases, and we're beginning to look at this. And also clearly, we're really, really interested to take this one step further and look to see if this technology works in there.